know me? I wish you would jump out your car. Tonight be the night that your ass will be, uh, be finding out that you won't be having a car no more. Keep playing. Try to expose him real quick, yeah? And then I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna sit right here with my camera on him. Because he wanna be such of a stalker. He sitting right here with his, with, sitting right here like he, he called the police or something like that. I ain't bothering you, man. I ain't do nothing to you. I ain't do nothing to you. My whole thing is that you was following me with the passenger in the back. Come on, man. You can't make it up, man. These people out here ain't got no life. No life. So I'm going to sit right here, chill, wait for him to pull off, because wherever he go, I'm going to go the opposite way, and I ain't got nothing to do with him. And if he jump out track in front of me, talking about some this, that, and the third, I'm going to look at him like he's stupid and keep recording him and drive off on his ass. <clears throat> but these are the people. These are the people. Now, I just want y'all to see how he parked. Because, you know, these bots, these bots, this is how they do it. They park all stupid. You see how, who who the hell pulls up to a store like this? They're at the 7-Eleven. Who parks like this at a 7-Eleven? So, this is all bot tactic anyway, right? But watch what happened, though. Sitting right here, like, he, he called the police or something like that. I ain't we bothering you, man. Which he did. I ain't do nothing to you. Yeah, I'm still behind you because I'm trying to get in the 7-Eleven. Because you was just following me. And I followed you to 7-Eleven. Who, well, who parks like this? Nobody but a gang stalker. They do it all the time. All the time I went to 7-Eleven. But you ain't get out of the car. What is this about? They never get out the car. Sometimes they do. It might be like, I'm surprised he only had one stalker. When I go to the 7-Eleven or any store, it'd be like, it's always like one car that's like this. Then the rest of these motherfuckers, they'll, they'll rush. They'll rush in the store when you're walking in the store. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, rate, they, they try to either beat you in the store or they're going to beat you to the door so they could hold the door for you. Anybody get those tactics? They used to do that shit all the time years ago. What is this really about, y'all? I'm just trying to figure it out. Man, you, turn. you spend all your whole life trying to figure it out. Now watch this. You doing something. Look, they got the police now. You sit up here acting like you doing something. And turn around. The people. This. Let's see what's going on. Now see what happened was. The, the perp called the cop. I, bet, I guarantee he probably didn't even call the cops. The cops was around the corner. The cops, not even around the corner. The cop was probably right on the corner. Now, this right here just shows you how much of a psyops this game is because people get shot all the time. People get shot and killed every day. People get raped and murdered and kidnapped and stuff like that. The cops never on the scene that fast. But this dude right here, out of nowhere, claimed that he called the cops because this guy was um, following him and took some pictures. With the situation of, oh, this person following me, this person this, this person that, I'm like, man, I'm not trying to hear that, man. Hey, boss, how's it going tonight? What's up, officer? How you doing? I'm doing all right. This guy said you're uh, following him? No, I don't know that guy. Okay. I ain't got nothing to do with him. All right. He said you took a picture of him, was following him. I was just, you know. Took a picture of him? That, that's what he's saying. I'm just here to, you know, verify if things are, you know, good. Officer. If I took a picture of that man, That's obviously officer. I would know him or something. Look, look, look at Officer Fatso. You know what I'm saying? You know he done ate like probably like two dozens. Two dozens of Krispy Kremes. Look at them jaws, man. Officer Fatso. You know what I'm saying? He, he like glaze. You like the one with the jelly. Don't go. I love I love Krispy Kreme too, but I guarantee you like them more. Obviously. If I took a picture of that man, obviously I would know him or something. I, I got a call. I just have to I got a call. Man, that's amazing. You got a call. 
you got a call and you came to the scene that fast because somebody said that they were somebody was following them. Look, look, the, the video is about 12 minutes long. But it took them about well, I don't know, you know, like I said, I don't know how long it took, but I got I, I obviously the cop was right around the right around the corner. It's all staged because you gotta understand if you're a TI, the cops is always in your vicinity. You better believe that. You ain't going nowhere without a cop. With a cop, the radius of where a cop is at towards a TI, I guarantee you right now while I'm making this video, there's a cop outside <laughs> riding, up around the brown, riding around this parameter. You best believe that. They're listening right now. Hi, cop. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Cool stuff. I asked him why he parked like that. I just went into 7-Eleven. I got you. Just he like a big fat 16 year old Don't he I hope everything will be all good I'm going to sit right here and finish having my phone call Alright Thank you That's an that's a adjustment bureau cop That's what that is That cop is down with the adjustment bureau Call the police If y'all seen the movie adjustment check him out <laughs> Think about y'all seen the movie Adjustment Bureau? The boy with the boy mad, the boy mad. He said, "Oh, I get it. You're not even a real cop. You you one of them. <laughs> okay, okay. You you one of them. For those that ain't seen the movie, go watch the damn movie Adjustment Bureau." Bitch ass nigga, clown ass people, man. He tell me I'm following him. He followed me to the gate to this. I follow him to 7-Eleven. Look how he parked. He's scared. He's scared to get out of his car. Him and his passengers. It's not the fact that he's scared. They playing the victim game. It's not the fact that they're, they're actors. You know what I'm saying? They're 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 a street, uh, um, what they call them, street crisis actors. It's not the fact that he's scared. He might be scared, whatever. It don't even matter. But the, 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 the thing is that they know that the cops is like one step away. It was all designed to get you hemmed up. That's all it was. That's why you. That's why I tell target individuals you can't put your hands on nobody because a cop is like three feet, three steps away. Not three feet. Three, three. Yeah, you know, three feet, three steps away. You see what I'm saying? But meanwhile, remember, remember what was that in New York? It was on the train, and some lady was getting raped on the train in front of all the passengers on the train. And nobody stopped to intervene and get the dude off the lady. I mean, this dude was literally raping the lady. Having, according to what people were saying, he had his PP out and everything. You know what I'm saying? And when the cops came, when the cops finally got there to the train, they had to pull the man off of the lady. Nobody, all the bots, all the community-based agents that was there, ain't nobody intervened, ain't nobody jumping, ain't nobody grabbed the dude off the lady, none of that. You know what I'm saying? The cops eventually got there. You know what I'm saying? But my point is that he was, I guess, already in the in, in the action. But look how, but 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 never mind that. I, I'm from the hood, so I done seen people get shot. You know, all types of crazy stuff. And cops take forever to get there. But this cop right here got there, man, within a matter of seconds because somebody made a phone call saying he was being followed. Man, this is a psyops. You know what I'm saying? And they try to they try to use the reverse psychology on my man right here to try to make, try to make him look like he was the stalker because this is the name of the game. They're going to play victim. They're going to play victim. They flipped it on him. You was being you was being gang stalker. They flipped it on you. Now they made you look like the gang stalker. Like he told me I took a picture of him. Everybody know that if you in public you can take a picture of anybody you want to because you're in public. But at the same time, <clears throat> these pussies do this stupid shit. Motherfucking want to go around taking pictures, videos, all that stupid shit of a motherfucker. And then turn around, expect that the police supposed to come and say they ass. Look at them. Bitch ass nigga. That must be one. It was just all a psyops, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't get caught up like this, y'all. You got to keep your motherfucker. You got to be wise like a serpent or harmless like a dove. You know what I'm saying? The whole game is rigged against you. They want you to bust my side to head. 
They want you to get in trouble. They want you in jail. They want you in the murder. They, they want you in one of those psychotic uh, straight jacket rooms. You know what I'm saying? Because this is all psychiatry fraud. They're trying to make it look like that you're the crazy one. So keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned to the realest motherfucking channel, Gang Stalking Simulation. You already know what it is. Fuck all the fake TIs out there. Fuck all the goddamn perps. Holla back.